How's it going guys and welcome back for a different video. Today's video is going to be about world edit and how you can most efficiently use it. We're going to be going over quite a few commands. So if you watch this video and want to come back to a section, I'm going to leave everything on the screen right now where everything starts as well down in the description. But of course, before this video continues, make sure you smash that like button. Comment down below what you think about these awesome commands you can do with World Edit. And of course, join your daily dose of Dexter by subscribing to my channel and click that bell. But anyways, let's just go ahead and dig straight into it. We're going to start off pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and take a look look at the slash slash copy command. If you already know how to mark up objects, you take a wooden axe, click on that one, click on that one, that will take the entire square right here. Stand on wherever you want and do slash copy. And now you have a copy of this cannon or this build right here and you can go ahead and place it right here if you wanted to. So slash slash paste and we can put it right there. We can put it up here. It doesn't really matter where you are. You can always copy it in. Now something that people might not know is that you can also actually copy something and always place it at the same spot. So if we do slash slash copy and let's just go ahead and get rid of this entire build. So let's set that air right there. You can also use slash slash paste and then negative O or minus O and it is always going to replace it in the exact same spot. So even if I was all the way up here and do slash slash paste and negative or minus o it is always going to go to the exact same spot next up we have slash slash move as well as slash slash move ignore air so this right here is a pretty dope command so you can do slash slash move seven and that's going to get rid of this right here as you can see because we copied the air as well if we do undo we are going to go ahead and take the command back and let's go ahead and do this command right here minus a and as you can see it actually ignored the air and you actually allowed to paste in objects or builds or whatever inside things without touching the air at all. This is particularly useful if you're going to have to combine two builds. So let's say I have this build right here. I don't want to destroy it, but I also don't want to destroy this one. Move 7a, boom, there we go. Pretty simple. This right here is an easy way to make an outline. You go ahead and take your marking up and do slash slash walls and then whatever material you want to use. In this case, we're going to use stone. That's going to make an outline of whatever we have with nothing in the middle. Next up, we have a stack command. You can actually stack this right here. So if you do slash stack west, it's going to stack it to the west. If we do north, it's going to stack to the north and so on and so on. You can also do slash slash stack up. It is going to stack that up. And you can also do slash slash stack down. So stack one down and that's going to go down. Also, you can use this without direction. So let's go ahead and do slash slash stack six. That's going to go that way. This one is going to go that way. So it's pretty much stacking in whatever way you are facing. You can also do it diagonal. So let me go and see if I can get this right. There we go. So now we're actually doing a diagonal as well, as you can see right here, which is pretty awesome. You can also do slash slash stack without having to worry about the air. You just mark up your blocks, do slash slash stack, and then the amount and a negative or minus A. And there you go. Now you're pretty much ignoring the air and you're allowed to stack into things. Next command is copy and rotate. So if we copy this cannon right here or this build right here and do slash slash rotate either 90 or 180, we can go ahead and rotate it so that we are facing the objects a different way. So that right there was 180 degrees, which means we pretty much just flipped it in a way. And that's the command we're going to come into later. But as you can see, I just rotated it by slash slash rotate 180. You can also do 90. So that's that way and 90 again, 90 again, you get the door, right? Next one is replacing certain materials with other certain materials. So let's go ahead and say that we have a cube of stone. You can do slash slash replace and then we can do grass, but we can also do cobble. And as you can see, this one here turns into 50% cobble and 50% grass. You can do this with as many materials as you want. And it's a really awesome tool if you want to go ahead and make a terrain or something like that. Next one is something that some servers have and some servers don't. This right here is slash copy to copy whatever you want to copy. And all you have to do is slash download and it's going to go ahead and generate a download link where you can pretty much just take it as a schematic. This includes absolutely huge schematic. If you want to go ahead and make a schematic of this, 
this right here and all the way, maybe 200, 300 blocks this way. You can do that by just go ahead and marking it up, doing slash slash copy and doing slash slash download. So now we have 100 chunks downloaded into a schematic. Next one is the flip command. If we mark up this build right here and do slash slash copy and then let's go ahead and slash slash flip, we can do flip west and it's going to flip west. And when you paste it in, it's going to flip itself. So as you can see, the red wall is no longer on this side is actually on this side you can do this as well as east south and so on and so on so let's go and do south if we paste it in it's going to go the entire other direction that way you can always move your builds just be very careful about using this command with stairs and stuff like that the next one is slash slash outline so if we do slash slash outline and we're going to do stone this right here is going to make a cube that's hollow on the inside you can do this with any material if you don't want to use stone you can go ahead and use something else let's go to use dirt and it's going to create a cube hollow on the inside a bit dirt next one is slash slash drain something that you guys might be familiar with you have to stand in the liquid and do slash slash drain and then you need to type in how many blocks away in this case that's going to do one and it's going to go ahead and remove one single cube as you can see right there you can also go higher and do 50 and it's going to get rid of well everything replace near is also a pretty strong command so let's do slash replace near and then we need to put in a radius in this case let's go ahead and do two and then let's go ahead and put grass and replace that with stone and here we are so now we replace this grass area with stone where i was standing you can do larger radiuses as well this right here is just a simple example the next one we have is slash up 100 blocks that will give you up 100 blocks you can also do up 50 blocks and that's going to put you up 50 blocks the next one we also have slash slash through so if we do slash slash through we're going to teleport to the other side of this emerald block this right here might be useful if you're making something where you can't exactly get out of again. We also have ascend and descend, right slash ascend to move up to a block that is above you. And you could do slash descend to get down to the ground. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything I have for you today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if it helped you guys out, leave a comment down below. And if you have any other awesome commands for World Edit, leave a comment for the rest of the people watching the videos. But other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel, click that bell for your daily dose of Dexter, and I'll see you guys next time.